At this moment, officials are working to contain a series of raging wildfires spreading across the Texas panhandle. Yeah, the images are really incredible. These fires are forcing evacuations and cutting off power to thousands of homes and businesses. Texas Governor Greg Abbott issued a disaster declaration for dozens of counties. One wildfire known as the Smokehouse Creek Fire has burned through hundreds of thousands of acres. It is one of the largest in the state's history. One woman was devastated to discover that her home had burned to the ground just hours after she and her family had evacuated. It was heartbreaking. I, I broke down, but I mean, we were safe. It, it's just stuff. It can be replaced, but it's still, it's still a gut punch. <laughs> a lot of memories. Wow. Strong winds, dry grass, and unseasonably warm temperatures are fueling all of this. I want to bring in now Matthew Ford. He is the public information officer with Texas A&M Forest Service. Matthew, thank you for joining us. So talk to us just about the latest on these fires and their impact. Yes, ma'am. And again, it's a pleasure being here. And thank you for having me. So what we're experiencing over the last two days are is a really a multi-day outbreak here in Texas. We have five large wildfires currently active in the Panhandle area. The largest being, as you said earlier, the Smokehouse Creek Fire, which is right now at 500,000 acres and at 0% contained. That sounds huge, that sounds ominous. And as we heard from uh, one of the women living there, she said she broke down when she saw that her home had effectively been destroyed. Thank goodness she was able to flee. We've mentioned weather conditions making this worse. When might you expect things to change and perhaps help um, the firefighting effort. Yes, sir. So over the last couple of days, um, these fires have been somewhat resistant to uh, control and suppression methods due to not only the high winds, but to the high um, vegetation growth that we experienced over last summer, as well as steep and rugged terrain that has really been slowing um, progression and containment issues. Um, at this time. Um, hopefully, with the cold front coming in later today and the uh, temperatures dropping, those fires will not be as resistant to control as we have seen the last couple of days. Uh, resources are currently staffing all these fires, as well as more resources being ordered and coming into the state as we speak to assist with suppression efforts. Matthew, uh, I want to show our viewers again the map because they're, they're fairly widespread in the northern part of Texas there. Is there any indication as to how these fires actually started? No, ma'am. Right now, with these fires, it's an or evolving situation and an ongoing investigation is occurring on these fires as we speak um, to determine cause. But as of right now, cause is to be determined. All right, Matthew Ford, thank you for working there on the ground. Your entire team, we're thinking about you. Thank you, Matthew. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.